still don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I love, like, like, before the episode started, I, I, I told Dylan I, I knew exactly where I was going. And then I opened up the thing. I knew you didn't know where you were going. Hey. Why I believe you is <laughs> beyond me. <laughs> okay. I just want to I just want to start the episode because why not? You just have me wandering around for no reason. What are you? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh come on, get your legs out of the I will just like shut off this episode and force you to watch a walkthrough and then go back. I won't watch you, Dylan. You can't make me. Oh, am I back? Oh, now I remember why I hate this world so much. Terrible swim controls, and everything, and looks, everything the same. looks the same. Because it's underwater. And how much can you do with underwater textures everywhere, except for this? Unexcusable garbage. <laughs> No, your playing is on a fusible garbage. Oh, God. Oh, God, heem indeed. Calm depths, here we go. Now, right, now you're literally just no, swimming in circles. No, I got this now. Now I got this. Now I got this. I don't got this. Did you just go exactly where you just were? This will hey, be another. Clam. But this will be another 31 minute episode if. Hey, look, a clam! Oh my goodness, gizzy good. Clam. The worst part is that we need to do this to beat the game. Yes. If we could avoid this, we would. You avoid could this. avoid. You can actually, in the second game, avoid the entire the of the underwater thing. In, in the second game. You, you can actually avoid that. the aerial thing. But, the thing is that the aerial world isn't the same in that game. It's like completely different. And I actually want to show you just at least one of the things you can do in it. Because it's stupid. Oh, hey, look, don't... No, it's not going the same way that you are. Alright, fine. I just want to grab my dolphin friend because we're dolphin bro. What just happened? Are you in the same place again? I, I don't even know! This is the exact same place. That's why I was like, hey, maybe you should like do something to figure out where you're going. You know? Maybe I should just go over to the Tranquil Grotto and, and ponder my life choices. This is my pondering life choices circle. It's all of his seven magic now? Yeah. It's great. Under Steve Valley. Are you serious? I just did another way to get to this. Why does everything go here? Maybe you should follow. Why? Are you trying to get back to like the king or something? Am I? Maybe I'm I supposed know. to. Tell Are you? <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to tell the king what a what a stupid, annoying girl that is <laughs> friend. No, I'm not gonna say it. I, I want to, but I'm not going to. His, his, his daughter is? I don't know what I'm, I'm doing. It's... Way... Water... Current... No! No! Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> I will make this another 31 minute episode. We're we not. Can. We're not. We're not. We're not. We can. We can. We no. can totally can. We totally... No! Oh my god! <laughs> Why does lightning work west, west less than like fire in in the underwater level? This game makes no sense. I don't understand. You make no sense. I don't. I'm just. Uh, all right. Am I the only person who hates this level as much as, as, as I do? This is our seventh episode. You still got two more to beat this world. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, so, okay, I screw this, I'm just gonna flop my face all over the ground and over here. <laughs> all you have to do to get that to happen is just hold down square, it's so easy to do. It's like, why is it so much an easy thing that? to do? I'm sorry. Alright, let's Why don't we just pause it here and then no. we'll have to walk through no. here and then? No, we're doing this blind because 
not blind. I, I my five year old child has ins my five year old child and me has insight on everything I'm supposed to do right now. Try. I have a plan. I played Twilight Princess when I was like six, and I know what to do. Okay, look, well, that's you've still been playing game. it. Yeah, you still keep playing it. Like after Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, that was my game. That's what I kept playing forever. I know everything to do in Kingdom Hearts 2. I have a I have a book on it, I know how to beat Sephiroth, that's literally the only thing I needed the book for, was to know how to beat Sephiroth, but... I have you beaten, gave you a book for this game. I have beaten King Hearts 2 so many times, and it's great. It's a great game, because it doesn't require me doing this, this entire world. This entire world is what makes this game bad. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I like it. Seems an eight out of ten because of this water level that has terrible music. Like that's what every reviewer sounds like. Does it? Yeah, like I don't. Get, I'm not actually that sore about no, it. No, he'll give me. I'm like I actually still like this game, like a lot. I like this underwater level, except for the fact that you keep messing up. <laughs> Why do you really like this one? Because I like water levels. I love the water temple in that of time that everybody hates. <gasps> Hush your mouth! No, I think it's because everybody hates it. Go to the rock thing over there. No, I'm going back to the king because I'm going to tell him. You're how going back to that undersea grotto place. Or... No, I'm telling the king how bad his daughter is and how much he should be. Should, he should. If this was the right solution it. and I was right all this time, that's just. I will not actually be surprised. Why does he have like the secret police as like ghost people? Like they're literally just patrolling the streets. Like, I think the king is evil in this situation. I don't remember this game. Maybe the king actually is the evil one in this situation. Hi, king. What do I do? King. You came all this way swimming like that? Mm -hmm. What? Are you making fun of the way I swim? Maybe because I'm a person. Wait a second, what did you just say? No. Just yeah, the other thing. The other thing. Whoever you are, I want you to thank you for helping Ariel. I, how am I helping her? Oh, wait, no, he was supposed to be Bender. Hold on, talk to him again. Alright. Bite my shiny metal tail fin. <laughs> Ariel is a princess. She was just swimming around the palace and she pleases me. Go and behave with your mother. Tell me where it is, Zordberg. <laughs> no, I know where Ariel is. Should I just go back to the place? Why weren't you going to where she was then? <laughs> I, I, no, I, I went there already. Maybe we should say. Actually, no, don't say. What, what's the episode time? Uh, nothing, because we're going to keep going until you do stuff. It's Let only been see. seven minutes and you've done nothing. <laughs> no. no, I'm doing things. No, you're really not. We're titling this episode Doing Things. We're titling this episode Cameron New Dunderhead. <laughs> Dunderhead? That's not a thing I, 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 I was, was gonna say idiot, but that reminded me of a Fairly Odd Parents thing. Where it's like. Uh, oh, yeah, Cosmo, you Dunderhead. Oh, yeah, like, what's the password? It's like the password to the door, and it's like. Ah, uh, Cosmo, you idiot? <laughs> password accepted. <laughs> And then there's, this, there's like a later thing that's like, Cosmo, you moron, you twit, you dunderhead, Crestwood accepted. And there's one more, it's like, I should have married a monkey. This is where, this is where she was, this is where she, she's supposed to be. Where's Ariel, who knows? Maybe you should talk to that one guy. Maybe you should talk to Leon one more time. What? There's a really big fish you can swim against the current. I wish I knew a big fish song off the top of my head so I could sing. From the play? He's gay to those weird. No. Oh, yeah, that. What were you thinking of? <laughs> no, I think there's another fish this band that's not fish. There's PH fish. But like a different. Big oh, fish. fish. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. He's scared of those weird things swimming around. Chase Cause he said away. another big... big fish will pay to play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. Wait, what are you talking about? There's a really big fish you can swim against the current. Oh! Maybe he's five years. Maybe it's two. a dolphin, idiot. <sighs> Dolphins aren't big fish, though. No, he's saying, like, the big fish is. No, I know what he's talking about. I know what I gotta do. It's like the worst thing ever. Undersea Garden. What the heck? Oh, I remember this from the movie. 
I know. Except, like, I don't know, she was singing sadly over here somewhere? I don't know. Give me no, this. she was singing sadly in the place that you just were. No, she was singing sadly in multiple places because she's a sad, depressed emo teen. And then she gives up her voice for legs, and then. <laughs> Weird octopus lady, and then this is just me. The weird octopus lady gets hit by a boat or something at the end. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> I don't know. I think that let's go kill some fish people. Let's go. I don't know. I didn't like. I didn't like the little mermaid that much because she just sang about how depressed she is with the love of a guy she just sees, and that's it. Painting unexpected uh, standards for men. You know, while well, you're trying to figure out when, or you're like trialing and erroring, um, so I'm just gonna look thing. up like what she called the fork. <laughs> yeah, because that's a Google search that'll like instantly come up with what. What did Ariel call the fork? <laughs> instantly comes up with an answer. <laughs> you know, funny. I typed in what does Ariel, and the fourth thing down is what does Ariel call a fork? <laughs> Are you serious? What does Ariel mean? What does Ariel like? Just the top thing. What does Ariel look like? What does Ariel call it for? Oh, probably they're, they're talking about like Ariel, the like type of font. The Dingle Hopper. <laughs> Dingle Hopper. Are you According to yeah, Scuttle, whom Ariel and Flounder. His name is Flounder, by the way. I'm yeah, I know. Feel like I knew that. I, I Consult about their discoveries identifies this object as the could. Dingle Hopper. According to him, it is used to comb the hair and thus achieve an aesthetically so, pleasing appearance. In reality, the Dingle Hopper is an eating utensil, a three-kind fork. Wow. Do they a, really <laughs> like make that really articulate statement about like that bat? Really? Yes, yes they did. I love I love those moments when it's like, wow, really articulate statements about literally nothing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Using the words aesthetically. Just, just hit him! <laughs> yeah, aesthetically. Is that an orange giant? Dude, I saw this one video of like this Maybe guy. Maybe you should open the giant orange pie, by the way. As soon as you kill No, I, I already opened that. I just need to kill everything so that the dolphin will appear. Or so that freaking everyone's gonna kill me because, you know, that's, that's fun, right, everybody? <laughs> Everyone loves to kill me, right? Oh, the dolphin! Here you are, dolphin baby. Oh yeah, here here's like the next one down. She called it a dingle hopper. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ariel calls the fork a ding. Right, that's all you needed to. That's all you needed to say. All right, here we go. Now we're doing something. Here we are. This is this is the puzzle. That was the puzzle. That was the puzzle. I wasn't even watching. It went that fast. That was the puzzle. I, wasn't even I needed to grab onto the dolphin, which I was doing for the longest time previously, but like now it's actually important. And now you're in a boat. Is this the eel boat? Yes. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna do the, their voices from future on. See, I didn't need a walk. If, if they don't do their own voice. Right, you just need to talk to Flounder, apparently. Oh, hey, look. Donations. An item gank. How did I call that? <laughs> you literally went through Donald's head. Oh, I guess it's Is not that a butch from game. Shark Tale? Let me guess, it's like a really useless item. Oh. <laughs> it sure reminds me of something. Gee, I wonder what. Gee, it's a dingle I, I hopper. Mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crystal dingle hopper. <laughs> a crystal dingle hopper. No, because this, the, uh, that really complex statement. Specifically called it a three times. It's point. actually the most important item in order to complete the, the, the world that we're in, so probably not an item gank. Never mind. I thought I was gonna have to fight the shark for it, but apparently I just had to Yeah, I thought you were gonna have to fight a shark. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been, been so much cooler. Been, yeah, that would have <laughs> been cool. But you know, Disney it, I feel it, like you would have remembered to do that if you had to fight a shark, but no. Yeah. No, I, you don't have to fight a shark, you just have to get scared by one. No, E10, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, you do fight a jaguar in, in like the... Wait, is this E10 or is this a team? I'm pretty sure this is E10 and then the second one's a team. Yeah, this is E10. Yeah, you're just going straight. <laughs> this is E10. No, I'm going... I know where I'm going. You know the weirdest part? I'm pretty sure for uh, when they made Ocarina of Time on 3DS, they actually had to change it to E10. Is that just E? Yeah, because you, you you know about like the like the nightmare producing shadow world. Yeah. 
And like, uh, you know, uh, like, Free Dead Hand, that boss? Oh, yeah. Yeah, people blame that, and they blame Redeads in general. For just being creepy? Yeah, for scaring the crap out of them, because you know how he's just got like, it's like in an arena. I'll throw in a picture at the end of like fighting him. It's like in an arena, and it's surrounded, like the way to make him appear is like a bunch of, it's like a bunch of creepy like stock hands, and if you get too close, they grab on your head, and they're like, and like the only way to do that is like mash the B button, and like move around. Wasn't that like a wall master? No, no, it was like this creepy hand stock. Oh. Let's put and that the thing like the, thing. the the okay, <laughs> and the only the only way to get like uh, an undead hand to appear or read dead hand or whatever his name is, is to walk near one, like it have like latch down in your head and like music appears and he just crawls up out of there. I love how before he was like, "Thank you for helping my daughter." Daughter, you suck. <laughs> Daddy, yes! That, that's a Spongebob movie joke for anyone who doesn't know. Because King Neptune and his daughter. Wow, I just obtained that from a shark, and you just destroyed Young it. Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world. Aren't you? Da, 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 da. You must be the key bearer. Okay, apparently. I should play that scene at the end, which is he'll, yeah! <laughs> But you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. I do actually. My dorsal fin's on my butt, and my tail's on my, my feet. Considering <laughs> your dorsal fin is supposed to be on your back, but it's on your butt instead, and your fin is supposed to be on your butt, but it's on your feet you instead. This principle. Oh yeah. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Something tells me he should be the professor and not a uh, bender. I think. For saving my daughter. Good news, but everyone. There is no room in my ocean for you or your key. You know what? I'm gonna tear down the walls of your cat. <laughs> <laughs> I will cut him. <laughs> I, will I will cut tear his down. throat open. I will tear down the walls of your castle with this key. Tear right. down this wall, said Ronald Reagan. <laughs> What's funny is that typically in games like this, you would have to like go around and find keys to open doors, but you just have to find specific story items in order to continue the story in this one. Because my, my, the poor child suffers such deep sorrow. An idiot like you knows nothing. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> If only there was some. She already kind of sounds like the woman from Futurama, to be honest. Like Aerosaur. Yes. No, that one. So the one talking now sounds like her. Yeah, I guess. Who are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> But, like, I remember, I remember why that rock was so, like, shaped like that, so she could, like, fall on it, like, uh, like, you know, like, okay, a feminine. Okay, well, exploded in a black crowd of smoke, and now they disappeared. And cry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you called yourself here, you freaking goat? <laughs> Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess, you wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it is. You have to build a gummy oh, ship, you have to call it a spogna, you gotta make a pie on the front of it, you gotta create a great wall of a spogna, you gotta. You have, you have you to suck at raising a guy for a star fruit that eventually does not matter. Oh yeah, because he's evil. <laughs> and you also have to put two lasers on the front of the pie. It's a laser pie. And you can only put one rocket on one side. Now <laughs> listen. Don't forget about the wall. <laughs> and I said the Great Wall of the Spark. Oh, uh, I didn't hear. I didn't. Which is actually funny because. All right, we better end it now. Great you wall actually of accomplished stuff this episode. It oh only yeah. Took Twenty-ish minutes. Before. Twenty minutes. It, my heart goes out to everyone who stuck out the entire video. <laughs> For that. It'll probably be like 16 because we'll cut some stuff. Maybe. <laughs>